This is a first alert weather alert day because of the reduced air quality right here in the Coachella Valley. Now last night we were experiencing unhealthy air quality here in the low desert. At this time the unhealthy air quality is to our west in the Inland Empire and we're experiencing more moderate to unhealthy for sensitive groups. Still this first alert weather alert staying in place through tonight because more of that smoke is expected to drift down to the south as well. A special air quality advisory. This was issued by South Coast Air Quality Management District has been extended now through Friday morning. So the first alert weather team is really going to be monitoring our air quality specifically here in the Coachella Valley before deciding about whether to extend our weather alert days or not. Again, we're going to be extending that if unhealthy air quality continues here in the desert. We're not just discussing the, the air although that's a big part of our weather story, but it's also about the heat. An excessive heat warning went into effect this morning and remains in place now through Sunday night. Yes, that has been extended as well. We're going to be talking about temperatures up to 115 degrees right here in the low desert and more smoke that's going to be moving in. So when we're looking at our wildfire smoke forecast, uh, the brighter yellows that you're seeing indicating more moderate smoke and notice how it's primarily west of the Coachella Valley in the Inland Empire here in the Coachella Valley, a little bit on the lighter side, but still we're going to be experiencing those hazy conditions, especially over our local mountains. Now we're only seeing this haze because of the number of wildfires that are active right here in California. So when we begin to talk more about uh, why, uh, fire weather conditions, the main three elements that we're really looking at there are the temperatures, how hot it is, if there's any wind, if that's going to be fueling the flames or pushing the flames one direction, and then also how dry it is out there. Not just how dry the vegetation is, the fuel, but also how dry our atmosphere is. And we're experiencing very dry conditions out there right now. When we're looking just at the southeast desert basin of California, the number of fire weather days, this is when we're experiencing the hot, dry, windy days, has increased by almost 60 days. That's 59 days specifically, just when we're talking about the southeastern deserts. Now, if we look at that over the western United States, everywhere that you're looking at with those deep reds, indicating a 200% increase just from 1973 to 2020. So we are continuing to experience hotter, drier, windier days. And on your Comfort Air 7 day forecast, again, that excessive heat warning has been extended through Sunday night now. Monsoonal moisture will be creeping back in as we head into early next week and lingering through the midweek. John. Mm, thank you, Haley. A brush fire continues.